arrived at the Stardust Cafe, but we don't have Sean and Ben with us. And the lady said that she's not going to see us unless like, we either go in as we are, or we're going to have to wait for Ben and Sean. But they're about like 20 minutes away, taking the subway. So Rain's gone off to find Ben and Sean, because apparently they're not actually that far away. But he literally just walked off without like saying anything. So we're just waiting on them now. Hopefully they shouldn't be too long. I'm going to go and do Sex toll funds aside, and they are only permitted to use them to purchase either a singing lesson, an acting lesson, or a dance class. Now, this bucket, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, is responsible for sending over 200 of us direct to Broadway. And the reason is simply this: right now, there are over 10,000 other actors trying to get on Broadway, just like us. So I'm going to start on that end of the restaurant, snake my way through the floor, and then come up to you very attractive. So we've just come into the diner. It's really nice, actually. It's exactly what an American diner should be. So Bethan was explaining to me that the waiting staff in this restaurant uh, or cafe um, are actually Broadway, um, like Broadway people, and they do this in between their shows, just add a little bit extra cash, which I think is actually a really good idea because people definitely, like, it's definitely a tourist attraction. Like, it's packed. <laughs> Hercules is my favourite Disney film ever. Really? Yeah, genuinely. Oh, I actually, it's genuinely my favourite Disney movie. Molly, we're going to give you right now, ladies and gentlemen, is the Act 1 finale of Lady Disney. I love this place. It's called One Day Thank you so much, guys. This will be our extremely low budget version. I'm absolutely speechless. That place was fantastic. All right. Amazing. You're very close to my mate. You got your big debut as the next. Oh yeah. Star, so. I'm definitely. I'm going to be a Michael Jackson impersonator now. Yeah. Do you do the dance? The dance. There you go. Stardust Cafe. Definitely a must go if you ever come to New York.
So we've now come back to Times Square. There's still a lot of shopping that we all want to do, so we're going to try and fit that in in the next few hours that we've got. Times Square. Coming back here during the day really kind of makes you realise how like ginormous these billboards are. Like at night, I feel as though it's a little like dampened in regards to your perspective of the size. But coming back during the day it is like it's quite intimidating, really. So impressive though. So me, Ella and Rain are going over to the Hard Rock Cafe, just the gift shop. We're not actually going to eat anything. Did you know guys that the um, first Hard Rock Cafe was actually opened in London? I don't know that. Whereas a lot of people actually think it was like an American, like an American style business. It's a picture. Picture, yeah, yeah. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. Come on everyone in. Everyone in. Yeah. It's a video so I'll just take a still Woo. from it. Woo. Thanks guys so much, awesome. Well, I just got hassled out of $10 by those um, people dressed up as like Minnie Mouse and like Elmo and such. So if you ever come to Times Square and see them hanging about, don't, don't go near them, don't make eye contact with them, just, just leave them be. So we just finished a little bit of shopping, we went into the uh, Hard Rock Cafe um, gift shop and we went into Midtown Comics which was really cool. We were meant to walk all the way back to Times Square to the red stairs to meet up with the girls but instead we just decided that we'll meet them at Target. So we, uh, we finished up in Target, got some goodies for the plane ride home. Ella now wants to get a hot dog so we're trying to find a stand somewhere. But it's funny because when you don't want one there's stands everywhere but when you're actually trying to trying to find one, they're just nowhere. So Ella got a hot dog, we're now back at the hotel. Apparently we've got to meet everyone in the lobby because the bellboys are going to be bringing our luggage down from the room that we left them in. So everyone's back at the hotel, we're all just going through the repacking process, trying to fit in all the stuff that we've got during the trip. We all have to be on the bus in five minutes because that's when it leaves and honestly I don't think we're going to get there on time. So this is it, we're off to the bus, the last time we're probably ever going to be in this hotel lobby. Hey, I'm walking here! Hopefully we never have to step foot in that hotel ever again. Can I have two words? Yeah, sure. That's cool! This is a boring word, like fantastic. Oh, <laughs> amazing. Nothing, nothing. Uh, extra. <laughs> um, what's that thing? I've never mind. Fabulous. That's great. Um, vibrant, because that's what I said. It's calorific. Yeah. One word review. Exhausting. Wait, can I just think about this before you start filming? Oh, Sean, you moody. Get your dice. Extra play color. Shocking. Get shocking. Oh, One more review of the trip. Fantastic. Fairly generic. Thank you, right? If you what, want what, it, what word would you like? Um, well, I miss it. Colour. Calorific. It? Calorific, whatever that means. Phantasmagorical. Uh, no, that means horrible. Um, delightful. You're like, by the way, we saw a uh, man crossing the road earlier who was wearing a shirt that looked like Hello Kitty, but it was a pair of boobs, and it said, and it said Hello Titty on it. <laughs> Lemonade Gatorade is f***ing horrible.
So we've checked our bags in, uh, we've gone through security. I think a couple people, I think Alice and um, Beth and got called over for the random security check, but everything was fine. So we're now in the duty free area trying to find something to eat. Do we want something to eat? Uh, I'm not that hungry. No, actually, though, yeah. Um, Scrap that then. Yeah, I'll get a drink at least. Yeah, I'll get a drink Maybe and then, coffee. yeah. We got aboard at 7.35, so we've got a couple hours um, just to sort of roam around. A <laughs> couple of hours? <laughs> just to, yeah, a couple of hours just to roam around G3. So after trying to find somewhere to sit, we've resorted to the windowsill. Ben and, uh, the, and Angus, I think, are just trying to find Ben's brother a hat or something. Just a little gift, which is fair enough. I've got my parents' like, little keychains for the Empire State building. Because the issue that I've had is that everything that I've found that is like cheap enough, but like nice quality enough to actually get, is like just sort of your boring kind of generic thing that you could probably like get on Amazon or whatever. So like it's difficult trying to find something that you know they'll actually kind of appreciate, but isn't like so costly. But I, I hope they'll like it. Alex walks through the gate and he's just getting everything out of his pocket. Yeah, yeah. Back. <laughs> to be fair, I'm looking at him, I'll ride my bike, check again, aren't I? <laughs> Hopefully, we get on a plane without any issues. Ben's just gone to the toilet and then we're going to make our way to the gate. So, we're running a little bit late now, given that we don't actually know where the gate is. So we'll find it. It's not like we've had any other issues with the uh, directions this trip. So our gate is about 50 million miles away. I'd oh, say so that's a bit of an exaggeration. I don't think it is an exaggeration. That's only gate B22. We've got to be at B36. A genuine question, what do you call these? Travelators. Travelators? Yeah. Ah. At least I think that's what they're called. That's what yeah, I hear I've, people I've call them. So. This is like 100 yards. Oh, Not no. even that, like 50 yards. Oh, well, so, you can, so you can get off if you want to go to the spa? To be fair, I wouldn't mind missing the flight just to go in the spa for a bit. So I can see B35 and B34, but I can't see B36 anywhere. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Found it. Thank God. We're now boarding after like a 20 minute, 25 minute wait. So we're now boarding the plane for, what was it, seven and a half hours? Uh, yeah. Seven and a half, seven, near, yeah, like around sort of seven and a half hours-ish plane journey back home. Probably not going to film much on the plane, so I'll see you back in England. That was the most boring flight of my life. I am so tired. The reason my flight was so boring is because my little TV screen on my on the chair in front of me wasn't actually working, so I couldn't watch any films, any like TV series at all. So we made it back. We got through the airport. I don't know whether I vlogged any of it, but we just stopped off. So McDonald's, now getting back on the bus. This is the bus that we've got, by the way. 16 people have to get in this bus. So after about 10 hours of traveling, we are now back at the college. Fairly successful journey, I think. Uh, morning, boys. Vlog, <laughs> uh, part one. Part one of the, uh, do you reckon I could like set it up? Hi! Hi. Blonde yeah, I'm the blonde one. Is blonde a recessive gene? Now that's something that I can't do. <laughs> so, my dad's not here yet. Rain's dad isn't here yet. Would you like to travel aboard a sailing ship and cross the sea? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm Captain. Bye, Rain. Bye, Bye. Bye. How was it? He's here, finally. 
that's, so, so that's why it's my plan first, because like, you're talking about going there now. But it's up to you to go there now or go there. Oh, no, 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 Psychology. Right, so just on the me. third floor, there's some stuff about uh, mental health care they do to the immigrants, which I think Mr. Freud would like to look at. Who's doing sociology? <laughs> 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 